Hey guys, welcome back. Sailor Gamer 8 here. We've got another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a combination lock for Minecraft. It's going to have a master lock uh, switch, which would keep everyone out, even if they didn't know the code. So, how it works is in this video, these two, one and two, are going to be down, and two and three will be up. Just click the button, and the door will open. Go in, get out, just click the button there. But if you go in, and you want no one else to get in, say you're doing whatever you're in your house, just flip this switch here, and no one will be able to get in. Click the button, the door won't open. And put the wrong code in, the door won't open. So, the only bad thing is, if you do that, you have your lock on, and you walk out, you just lock yourself out. So, there you go, flip the switch, you can leave your house, and then you can open it back up if you know the code. So, there's a the wrong code there. Alright, easy as that. So, what we're going to do to build it is build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blocks. And then your switch is going to be right there. Build it up, make a wall. And then your door will be right here. Oops, there we go. And then your button will be here, one block from the door. And then one block away from that is your switches. And whatever you want your combination to be, so it could be one and two or three and four, but you can do these two down, these two up. So, place a block behind the levers and the buttons. Wherever the uh, lever is, you're going to add a uh, redstone torch to it to set that as your combination. So you go and connect those. And then where the levers are, you're going to connect those. Connect them all together. And then right here, you're going to add a conversion. So just connect all of these together and bring them to this block with one redstone torch on the outside. Gotta convert that in. Now take your button and draw it out. And you're gonna put an AND gate. So it's three blocks in a row. One torch there, one torch there, one torch there. And then a redstone in between. So what that does is when your levers here are down, it's going to turn off that uh, redstone torch, and then when you click the button, it's going to turn off the other redstone torch, which then allows the door to open. So from that, you're going to add redstone, bury it, bring it all the way over to your door. at your door below this block you have a redstone torch so add another block here and then add a redstone torch underneath it and that's so that the door will stay closed because right now it's going to be needing to be converted again so bring that there put a block down the torch so now it's a live wire, and then the conversion here will keep it shut. So then whenever you click the button, that torch goes off over there, which comes all the way over here, and is switched so it would turn on, and it opens the door. If the lever uh, is wrong, then only one side will be lit, and it won't open it. So from that, to add you a little master switch, you're just going to go and 
anywhere between the block there that's with a torch underneath the door and the last conversion all you need to do is add a lever with a redstone torch and that's what controls it so then just do this that all up, add your wall, open it up. Now it works, flip your switch, and now it doesn't work. Easy as that, pretty simple. So I'll show the back of this one too, it's just like the other one. Here's this one. So remember, wherever you put your redstone torches, that is where your that's the the combination is going to be. So these two here are where the levers are not messed with, or if they are messed with, it's not going to work because then it turns that whole wire on, that redstone wire. Then flip it here. Add your AND gate. Have your button run all the way over here this torch, go down, convert it again, go back, and then you're going to convert it at the door. So I've got one that's finished over here, and this say this would be your house, you walk in, and on this one I believe it's these two are down, yep, and you can walk in. Go do whatever you want to do. There's all the wiring. Open your chest. And if you want no one to come in while you're doing whatever, you can lock your door. And when that happens, no one can get in. So, pretty cool. Pretty easy. If you're on a, a server that you've got your, uh, your land plotted, uh, that's protected, then this would be a good thing for you if you don't like people coming in and out of your house while you're there or while you're gone, vice versa. And you could always go and lock your door, then log, uh, log off while you're inside your house, and it would keep everything secure. And that, that way people weren't moving, uh, snooping around and everything in your house. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below and subscribe if you like and I'll see you next video. Bye.